Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and today I'm going to show you how to withdraw Litecoin from a paper wallet. So let's get going. Okay, so uh, I'd like to say thank you to all my viewers uh, for all of your subscriptions. Uh, I really like the fact that you ask questions and support my channel and give me encouragement. Uh, it means a lot to me. So one of my viewers asked me how to get uh, Litecoin out of a paper wallet. So uh, there's no way to actually send money out of a paper wallet. The only way to do it is to import the private keys into a different wallet. So I thought I would do a quick video on how to get the funds out of the paper wallet. So here's the problem. You have a paper wallet just like this and you're trying to get the funds out. So uh, what you have to do is you go to the Litecoin homepage and download uh, a Litecoin Core wallet. And what you're going to do is uh, import the private keys from this paper wallet into that. So I'll take you through that process. So the first thing you'll want to do is head over to litecoin.org and download the latest Litecoin Core wallet. Pretty straightforward. You can just drop that on your desktop. All right, and then you'll just uh, double click that and run the installer. Okay, so I had a bit of a hiccup when I recorded this video with the sound. So I'm just going to do a voiceover to walk you through it. As you can see here, uh, we fully downloaded and synced the Litecoin Core Wallet. Keep in mind, the first time you do this, it will take uh, quite a while, uh, about 24 hours. So make sure that you are uh, patient with that. Now, uh, what we need to do is import the private key from the paper wallet. So we're going to use a console command, the import priv key command. And we're just going to paste that into the console window. You'll notice that there are no import private key commands uh, in the menu. So you will need to go to debug window and then uh, click the console tab. All right. Now, uh, in order to do this, we're going to need to import the entire private key of the paper wallet. You'll have to type that whole thing in. An alternative would be to save that private key on an encrypted flash drive. So uh, I've done that. Uh, when you insert those encrypted flash drives, uh, you're going to launch Veracrypt. There are other ways to encrypt flash drives, but I like Veracrypt. Uh, you'll just have to enter the password that you've chosen for the encryption of the flash drive and then your flash drive is going to mount up. In this case I chose uh, drive A. So uh, we just go over to drive A and uh, then we'll be able to see all of the information that we have saved on this encrypted flash drive. Among that is uh, the PDF version of this uh, paper wallet. So now, uh, before we go any further, let's go ahead and check to make sure there's a balance. So to check our balance, we'll use the public key. We'll paste that into the Litecoin uh, Blockchain Explorer. And sure enough, uh, there is a balance on this uh, paper wallet. That's just uh, a confirmation. So now we know we've got a small balance we're going to transfer over into our desktop wallet. So we're going to take that uh, import priv key command. We'll paste it into the console window. Okay, and once we've pasted that command into the console window, we need to paste in the private key. So uh, if you're using the straight paper wallet, you're going to need to type it in. Uh, in my case, I had the paper wallet saved as PDF, so I can cut and paste, which is a little more convenient. And after we've got that in there, we'll hit enter, and you'll notice that the command failed because the wallet was locked, or shall we say encrypted. So we're going to need to do a wallet unlock command, or wallet passphrase command. 
and the components are uh, the command, uh, the password of the wallet, and the timeout, which is the uh, amount of time that the wallet will remain unlocked after we paste this command in. And in this case, I'm just going to choose uh, 60 seconds. So we can just uh, copy that command into our clipboard and then go back over to the console window and uh, just paste that guy right in there and after that we're gonna need to put our password make sure you put it in quotes for the command to work and then put your own timeout I chose 60 seconds and then when you get that null that means the wallet is unlocked and at that point you can uh, re do your import private key command and uh, then it's going to do a rescan of the blockchain. Now this takes about 20 minutes, so be patient. Okay, and uh, here you can see that we're uh, getting close to the uh, end of the rescan. Uh, this didn't take too long. Uh, I'd say about 20 minutes, maybe, maybe a bit longer. But uh, it does take a few minutes, so be patient. Okay, and uh, at the very end, uh, you'll see that the uh, balance has shown up in the wallet now. We've got that 0.09 Litecoin in there. It's not a whole lot, but there wasn't much in the paper wallet to begin with. Uh, this was basically just a demo demonstration for you guys on the technique. Uh, you may have uh, multiple paper wallets. You may have uh, higher balances in your paper wallets. Uh, but really, there's no way to send directly from the paper wallet to a, an address. You're going to have to do that import private key. Once you've got the Litecoin in your uh, desktop wallet here, uh, you can do whatever you need to with it. You can transfer it uh, to a different wallet. You can send it to someone you love. Um, you can uh, transfer it onto an exchange and sell it for a different crypto. Or you can transfer it. Uh, to your Coinbase account. Uh, your Coinbase account will accept a Litecoin transfer and then from there you could cash out if that's what you need to do. So uh, that's it. it. It was pretty straightforward. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like the video give me one of those thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate it. There, If you decide you want to subscribe there's a little uh, bell next to the subscribe button which will allow you to be alerted every time I post a video. So I uh, hope to see you again and thanks for watching.